Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at uh, Transformers Bumblebee set. This is the cassette pack. Comes with Bumblebee and uh, three cassettes. I mainly really picked it up for the cassettes. Um, this review is taking a little bit longer getting to you because I picked this up around Christmas time. However, um, when opening it, I did have an issue with one of the Transformers uh, Frenzy in there and the fact that he was missing a foot. So, um, this set in the UK is, is exclusive to Argos. So I managed to take it back there and get them to swap it over. They, all they did was actually swap over Frenzy rather than the whole set, which uh, didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's fine. I had it all in the packaging anyway, so it looks fine. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, these guys are a little bit loose in here, but you can see Bumblebee in there with the three cassettes in the cassette mode. Uh, that's Frenzy's weapon there. And this is laid out like a, um, a radio, if you like. So you've got all the kind of bits down here. Bumblebee Greatest Hits. Same at the top here. To the side, you've got Bumblebee with his guitar. And then on the back here, you've got Bumblebee One Step Frenzy and his three modes. Uh, Buzzsaw and his three modes. They're all triple changes. And Howlback. Um, also a Decepticon there in um, with his three modes as well there. Um, so just going to grab a couple of figures for a comparison just so we've got them all to hand right so i'm gonna get it all opened up so uh you can just take a look at the figures so i will do that and just kind of dump the packaging off to the side a second so we've got uh, bumblebee here in robot mode um you know i haven't bought it for this this Bumblebee figure, but in actual fact, the paint and everything on him is pretty good. A uh, nice black paint on here, Autobot symbol here, all silver in here, and the face is done quite well with a kind of new kind of head sculpt with this sort of little B antennas coming out. Head doesn't rotate, the arms can move up and down and to the side like that. And it's a one step transformation, so all you do, I think, is just pull that in like that. Then you've got him in his vehicle mode, rolls okay, paint on the front, blue on the back, even, oh that's, uh, I thought that was a bit of paint detail, but uh, that's just a pin that's gone through there. So it looks pretty decent, uh, I will end up giving this a, this one away, so um, yeah, so I'll pop that off to one side. Um, so you've got Frenzy here in his tape mode, just pop him off to the side. Got his gun here. Uh, normally there's a lot more um, bits and pieces in here, but uh, I've already kind of had it out of the packaging once, so it makes it a little bit easier. So pop these off to the side, out of the way. Try and bring down the camera now. So we can take a look at the three of them together. So we'll have a look at Frenzy first of all, just because he was one of the ones that uh, was missing from the set. So you see um, a couple of stickers on the front here, like a tape on the front here. So that's his first mode, if you like. You can store his weapon in this mode, so you can pop it in the side there. You just have to remember for transformation just to take it out. There is like a little on and off button there as well. Um, as if it was a little tablet or something like that that you could switch on and off. Uh, just bring the box up to the side so I can just remind myself of the different alt modes. Yeah, so the first one is a, a tank. So with that, you take these bits out to the side, bring them around here. And you see the tank treads. Yes, he does, does have the two feet, which is good. Bring this bit down. That'll come down here like that. These bits are going to come together like that. And then this piece here is just going to peg over the top of that. And you've got your tank mode. Nice detailing. Uh, again, nothing we haven't seen. These are all remolds, not remolds, repaints. So you get uh, gold paint in here, gold in around. The bottom here as well and the tank turret lifts up and down and you've got notches here where you can pop in a, a tight mask to stand on top if you so wish and then to transform him back 
into robot mode. Just take these bits off and plug these. Fold the arms out like that. Unpeg the legs and fold them around. Bring the feet forward like that. So he's got the two feet this time. And bring his head out like so. Fold these round. So it's nice, quick, easy transformation. And there we've got Frenzy. Same articulation as before. Arms go round, out, up to there, swivel around there. No waist articulation, head rotates around. You can get a little bit of up and down on there. The legs go up, back, and out to the side, deep bend in there, and the foot just moves forward and back like so. And then if you want to see him alongside Rumble, so move these guys out of the way, pop them down there, and I'll just bring in his little buddy, and then you've got them side by side. I think that looks uh, pretty neat, and it's nice to have the two of them there. Be nice if they did some of the other ones, but uh, you know, these are the two main ones, but I wanted just to have them side by side. And you can see the paint scheme uh, looks really nice. Uh, you've got red eyes for Rumble and uh, blue eyes here for Frenzy. Looks very good, just pop off him to the side. So that's one done. Uh, next up, we've got, uh, didn't realize they're all Decepticons in this set. Uh, for some reason, I thought Halback was an Autobot, but uh, that's uh, cool. Uh, and again, stickers on the front here. Just looking around for the extra detail, a little bit of paint either side here, and almost like a little notch on here, for like a, almost like a controller. Just keeping an eye on the time here. So, um, if I have to go out and pick up the boys and then you take hold of this bit here so you get like a, an aeroplane mode so you flip that bit out these wings pop out like so like that and then the feet come out from the back so just pop these out a second Kind of flip them out like that steady as she goes. Pop the other ones back in, and then it looks like they just kind of flip round this bit up here, like that. There's a little notch just in there which they'll line up with. So if you turn them around. You should be able to get them just to notch in there. See that? Like that. And then just put the feet forward. His other feet, just straighten them out however you want to put them in there as well. That bit goes back, like so. That is his kind of plain mode. Paint detailing again, gold around here for the cockpit. The same stickers down here, and a couple of notches here to pop a, a tight mast if you want them standing up in there. Potentially you could get someone lying down in there upside down if you wanted to as well. And uh, yeah, and that's about it for that mode. Uh, he does have his kind of panther mode as well. So I want to bring the head out like that. Fold these bits in like that. Bring the feet out. These feet are then gonna come forward or whichever way it's gonna be easier for them to go. Just have to rotate around that bit. Yeah, like that. And then these bits are gonna just go back. These bits forward. Then you've got your um, kind of cat mode or jaguar mode, however you want to put it. 
like that. And then if you want to see them side by side, you've got uh, Ravage next to him. And then you've got uh, Stripes, which is the Autobot version. He's got a slightly different uh, detailing on for the head there as well, whereas this one's got the Ravage one. So you've got the two side by side. So that's the second one done. Uh, last but not least, we've got uh, Buzzsaw. So this is him in his tape mode here, with all the stickers on the front here. And again, some nice gold paint in and around the side, a couple of buttons here as if he was a, a tablet or something like that. Buttons and bits and pieces. And he's got a quite quirky kind of alt mode. So um, if I remember properly, you have to fold these little wheels out. Um, let's try and remember how this goes. Ooh. So this bit comes out, I know that. I think you have to fold these bits out here. This bit here comes out and around like so. Now I thought these bits turn out like, yeah, I think these bits turn out like that. So they're facing, these two prongs are facing down. Like that, that's quite tight doing that. So you just, just do have to be careful doing that. Um, if you then rotate these bits around, you can then turn out the wheels, like that, on either side. And again, just, you just have to kind of grab the wheels from underneath and you have to rotate them around. So I presume you're going to have to get hold of the feet and just push them in a little bit. And then you've got this, which is, I don't know what it's supposed to be, some sort of armoured tank thing. Uh, you have got a spot there for a little Titan Master to sit, but um, yeah, it's not very impressive alt mode, if I'm honest. And then to transform him into his kind of bird mode, bring down his feet. Flip out the head, whichever is easiest to grab hold of. Like that. Straighten these out, like so. Flip those bits back in and bring out the wings. Same again on this side. Flip that back in and just bring out the wings like that. And then you're going to bring this bit up and have him like that. That is his uh, bird mode. Got them like that. Um, you can do a different configuration. So this is laser beak. You see he is exactly the same mould. It's just a repaint. And to get that configuration, if you do want it like that, is you just get a hold of these bits here. Just turn them around. Oh, be careful not to pop that off back in, pop them out like that and you can have them like that if you want to as well. What I might do is have one like that and the other one like this I think. So I'll have them looking slightly different. So there we go. So we've got three birds so far I think out of all the Titan Returns and different ones and uh, two for the Decepticons, two Jaguars, and we've got Rumble and Frenzy. So if I bring in the whole set here so we can see them all side by side. So we've got Buzzsaw here at the top here. We've got Howlback down at the bottom here. We've got Decepticon Frenzy in at the side here as well. And uh, last but not least, we've got um, Bumblebee here as well, so he just opens up like that. And he just goes and back like so. So pretty good set, all in all. Um, I think from as not Asda, Argos is something like thirty pounds. So you're looking at if you're not 
we don't want the bumblebee you're looking at 10 quid each for those which is uh, not too bad obviously even better if you can pick them up on discount um, which I think they've got some sales coming up soon so it might be worth looking out for those anyway that's it for now guys thanks for watching really appreciate your support and see you next time bye bye for now